concerned about the presidential election last year. It's that liberals will do whatever it takes to win. We constantly heard incidents of voter fraud taking place, where Hillary's minions were voting multiple times, and buses of people were being be transported into key swing counties in order to throw the vote. As Roy Moore still refuses to concede and has now filed a lawsuit into fraud that was uncovered, now investigation into an Alabama state official has revealed something incredibly disturbing. And now someone is on the way to prison. Each election cycle we constantly see evidence of liberals cheating to win, and during the Alabama state senate race all the signs were there. In a shocking 11th hour order, the Alabama Supreme Court ruled that counties in Alabama could destroy voting records in the Roy Moore Doug Jones race. Going against the long standing rule that these counties preserve the records and the integrity of the race. Another sign of voter fraud came after the election, when several liberal morons bragged that they had come from all over the country to vote for Doug Jones. But shockingly, that was only the beginning. Alabama Secretary of State Nancy Worley turned herself in at the Montgomery County Jail Thursday after a grand jury indicted her on election fraud, where she is now being charged with five felonies and five misdemeanors that will no doubt put her behind bars for a quite a long time. So four long years of stacking the deck against Republicans which explains how a red state like Alabama suddenly turned blue during the Jones-Moore race. The indictment charges that Worley broke that law when she wrote a letter to her employees with the words underlined saying, I want to ask for your support and your vote in the June 2006 Democratic primary election. She went on to say she had always requested them not to discriminate against anyone because of his or her. Politics, race, religion, social status, thus she says. If you choose to support another candidate, you have every right to make that decision without any problems from me. Wally's attorney says that last statement means employees were not pressured into contributing to her campaign, but Packard sees it differently. Aside from it being illegal, it just seems wrong for an elected official to request money or other kinds of campaign support from their subordinates because of that employer-employee relationship. That could be coercive just by its very nature, he said. He points to other items Wally sent the employees like a bumper sticker and an envelope to volunteer a request a yard sign. Packard says his complaint represents a number of workers who were reluctant to do anything about it. I didn't have any reluctance to file a complaint because I believe it takes people standing up and doing the right thing if we expect the right things to happen, he said. The rules are blatantly clear, but liberals don't occur, as each election cycle they continue to break these rules in order to keep themselves in power. Wally is in currently in hiding, refusing to go on camera after being caught breaking federal law. She is facing a whopping five felony charges and five misdemeanor charges. Moore still is still refusing to concede the race, and is now in litigation to fight the blatant voter fraud that cost him the election. Amanda Shea from Freedom Daily previously reported... It's now gone on for two weeks since the Republican candidate Roy Moore found himself on the receiving end of dirty politics. This was brought on by his Democrat competitor and has flat out refused to concede because of it. His determination to expose all that has been wrongfully done to him, including allegations of sexual impropriety, seems to have paid off. The special election to replace newly appointed Trump cabinet member Jeff Sessions took another dark turn which could make more the winner once and for all. Turnabout is fair play and Moore has just brought it on now at the end of his relentless pursuit to exonerate himself from all the fraud and allegations used against him the most controversial.
senatorial election of our time. It's pretty disturbing how liberals will not stop in their conquest to destroy this country with their shady and illegal antics. And the Alabama State Senate race was a enormous hit to the Republican Party. Jones' victory will have significant consequences for Republicans on the national level. Where Democrats are now working towards capturing the last Senate seat up for grabs next year in order to gain the majority in the Senate.